Hello viewer, and welcome back to the channel. The fourth episode of Masters of the Air goes beyond Thorpe Abbott's to tell the escape narrative of Sergeant William Quinn. Through Bob, a character who makes one subtle revelation about himself, the show briefly explores the world of German espionage. In the third episode, Quinn had to flee when his jet suffered significant damage while on the risky Regensburg mission. Quinn flees to Belgium, where he is presented with an option, after failing to save Babyface from the turret gunner hatch. He has two options, risk his life to escape or end up as a prisoner. Episode 4 depicts his runaway. Quinn's first task is to meet with the Belgian nationals who will assist him in leaving the nation. When he gets there, he discovers that Bob, an unfamiliar soldier, and Sergeant Bailey is also trying to flee. The Belgians administer a test to the three men. The test starts with standard questions about names and CO numbers, but it quickly deviates when the Belgians ask about Babe Ruth and insist that the guys perform the national anthem of the United States. Bob is killed by the Belgians for being a spy just a few scenes later when the party is making their way to safety. In Masters of the Year Episode 4, Bob explained how he wrote the date that seemed to give him away. Given the Belgian test's initial unpredictability, it might be challenging to figure out how Bob revealed his identity as a German spy. He could sing the national anthem with pride and accuracy, and he had an American accent. It all boils down to the last moment of the exam when Bob scribbled the date. Bob wrote it using the European norm instead of the American one, which puts the month, day, and year. The month and year are written after the date when writing a date in Europe. This demonstrated Bob's non-American status. Although Masters of the Air doesn't explicitly say that this was the big clue, it seems like a plausible explanation. Declaring they are never incorrect, the Belgians respond to Quinn and Bailey's demands for an explanation for Bob's death by saying they are convinced he was German. Bob might have answered incorrectly on a few additional minor questions during his entire exam, leading the Belgians to assume he was German. Ultimately, Bob State provided viewers with the most evidence that he was a secret agent. Is Bob from Masters of the Air based on a real story? Though Bob's escape from Belgium is unrecorded, indicating that he is a fictional character, the reality of German spies is undeniable, and Bob's circumstances may have arisen during World War II. German spies were infiltrating various areas of the battlefield even before America's entry. The FBI claims that the week following Pearl Harbor, a whole network of German spies known as the Duquesne spy ring was busted for espionage. In this sense, people like Bob from Masters of the Air were very genuine and very dangerous, even though he may not have been. I hope you enjoyed these theories, I'll be posting more soon. Thanks for viewing. Watch out for the next shocking surprise.